हेलो सलाम नमस्ते सत श्रीकाल कड़ो हाल आ सो वॉट यू थिंक अबाउट दिस केक आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द डिज़ाइन नो दैट इज़ अ डिफरेंट पार्ट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द आइसिंग यू वॉन्ट सच टाइम ऑफ आइसिंग राइट चलो लेट्स मेक इट नो दिस इज एक्चुअली अ सेवन इंच और एट इंच टिन केक लाइक वन के जी टिन केक एंड आई हैड पुट अ बैटर ऑफ फिफ फाइव सिक्सटी फाइव फिफ्टी ग्राम्स सो आई टेकन लाइक टू बेसिस ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट सो वन आई हैव कट इन थ्री एंड द अदर इन टू सो हियर वेन आई हैव स्टैक्ट इट इट्स एक्चुअली फाइव लेयर्स ऑफ केक आई एम जस्ट अप्लाइंग नॉर्मल आइसिंग ऑन इट बिकॉज आउटसाइड ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ फ्रेश क्रीम बेस सो स्लाइटली आई एम जस्ट brushing of the ice here but what happened i thought this base is actually a bit bigger than the cake i had a different idea of uh, you know decorating it so later when you see it would be a smaller base here the cake board i'm talking about okay so here we go now we start i am just applying normal normal fresh cream but very less i'm just uh, want to you know crumb coating the things i'm just locking the uh, cr uh, the crust or the crumbs of the cake so that when we apply the final icing we won't have those come in between because then the whole design gets distorted hmm so here very uh, evenly i'm just applying a normal coat of fresh cream so that everything gets locked up do not over uh, you know do not over it with more of icing and all that so here even if it's a tapering at the bottom we can apply more of uh, cream there so that it gets it stands straight okay it's going it's going to get scraped later on that is not at all an issue okay see here at the bottom i think it needs a bit of icing so let's apply a bit of icing there and then scrape it it is not going to stay there okay we just need to scrape off the excess see you can look at that fine after this comes the decorating part now i have taken normal fresh cream white and i have i'm adding blue this is a blue theme cake it's up to you the main concern or concept of this tutorial is that you come to know how to ice a cake properly how to frost it hmm uh, what i have done i have put that uh, total icing into a piping bag and that too i have cut a very small tip of it you can see that because it's swirly if it was a bigger end it would have been a smooth uh, paste coming out of it okay here the main thing to use a piping bag is so that you get an even coat right everywhere plus there is less of cream again as i always say do not start smoothing the cream from the beginning itself use a pallet to lock the pockets as well see in between two uh, lines or two piping lines you can see some space of cake right if that doesn't gets properly evenly coated it will form bubbles this is going to be a very detailed one i'm not doing it on any uh, effects i mean fast forward mode or anything this is a real time video theek hai the thing is now starts the real icing part what i do i smooth from the side then the excess comes up i scrape it inside then i smooth the top now again the sides again scraping on the top and then again smoothing of the top this process continues until you there's not much cream coming when you are smoothing from the sides okay now at one place here i found that uh, a bit of chocolate icing was coming on top so i had applied a bit of uh, cream and then i just smoothed it off hmm? okay so now the sides okay and one thing you need to understand is it needs to be a 90 degree angle which means your smoothness should touch the bottom as well as the cake there should be no room for any air or any uh, light in between see kya so see it's getting smoothened then again from the side then again on the top we are going to scrape it this needs to be done until you get very less of excess cream on the top i usually i mean i myself am a huge fan of raw edges on the top so i uh, don't take care of that much but to show you i'm doing it a bit more so see this is totally a work of patience 
remember that hmm again this is not done yet now we are doing the shading part in the same icing i put some more of uh, liquid gel uh, liquid color or gel color whatever you want hmm there's no nothing such as it needs to be liquid or needs to be gel color so i'm just applying it on the side and on the top and when we start to smooth it it needs to be smoothing and not scraping we are not removing any excess uh, cream from that okay see here i have started and just smoothing it we are not removing any 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 excess of cream if ever something comes you just need to clean it up hmm the same thing again the circular machine on the top scraping inside then circular and then the sides now i found this a bit like a light i mean there were too many light spaces here so i applied a bit more of uh, dark uh, blue color wherever i could find some places okay yeah and then again we are going to smooth it we are not going to scrape it here you go again fine and and, and this cake you are scraping it this way if someone tells you to do it again it's not going to be same so whenever somebody asks you to make a same cake tell them it's going to be similar and not same to same we are not xerox machines that's what i always say because these things have their own flow right i mean we cannot create the same to same uh, lines what we got here or the same to same flow what we got here right so see i'll just show you again from uh, a closer angle once i'm done with actually it's done here okay this is something i'm just doing it for my own happiness that no okay okay we can really smooth it more but if you got this idea of just scraping us uh, uh, smoothing it from the sides then from uh, scraping from the top and then smoothing again then the side this needs to be done see here we are done cool if you want again you can scrape more on the top smooth it again then the side so sides should be the last thing that you do now for the theme i got uh, such uh, print outs on a photo paper the the, the hard one i got it uh, downloaded from the internet gave it to the printer and he printed for me uh, now my cake is actually 5 inches tall so the bike uh, photo i took a bit 5 inches only because i am going to uh, paste it like horizontal uh, a bit vertically okay so cello tape and everything has been done on the back of this so that there is no uh, direct contact of the paper so we are going to cut it now according to the shape fine and these wheels will have toothpick at the back there's no harm in using a cello tape at the back of your photos you stick so many things on the cake like maybe it fox balls or may it be toothpick and everything it's fine chill okay so see here it's a bit diagonal not vertical actually diagonal and because of the diagonal the head is coming out so it looks like a bit you know 3d sort of thing here whatever the theme may be see now you saw this cake i told you it's a 1 and 1/2 kg cake but from the picture you can't come to know right so even you can make this cake in a half kg tall of half kg flat or a two tier or whatever so tell the client that we will have to think how to make it look worth the money <laughs> as well as the the kgs okay so you you just need to explain to them that it cannot be same to same here i am just applying these uh, paper toppers and okay the name also i thought i would print it because it's looking really good so just on two toothpicks i'm doing it very softly done now we will be using fox balls you can use whatever you like that's what i say use your imagination you have a lot of talent okay so now this was a bit uh, darker shade so i used the fox balls in a lighter shade and i'm just using them as per my own convenience wherever it looks good so golden hint has been given along with that and there you go i'm just applying a more fine if you you can even add a green grass to it don't use the the piping wala glass uh, grass sorry just bake a green colored cake and then you know keep those it looks like nice uh, shrubs very nice see done colors now next part is after this we are going to apply silver work okay you can even apply golden if you don't want to don't apply fine okay here you go see 
and i'm using a fan brush because see when you do it with your finger or with your hands na there is a possibility that it might get poked more with the pressure of your hand or your hands might get touched somewhere or the other with brush what happens you can place it very nicely and this fan brush actually you get it at stationery shops very easily it is a set of uh, different kinds of brushes and you get it in that even i was looking for it uh, before for a long time i couldn't get it but uh, now we have it at stationery shops you can do that and then applying a bit of sprinklers so that it gives a good look and these are like the white ones the small ones these don't bleed at all uh, whatever which have no color they don't bleed that much to be frank so use these uh, don't use much of colored sprinklers yeah none colors see try it give suggestions to your clients tell them to make something like this even they get a good idea of a cake and even you get a chance to bake something really cool like this try it try the icing it will be very 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 educational for you to do it again and again and again bye